Hey there, this is how to put together your senior portfolio using Google Sites by dad, also a teacher. First of all, open up sites.google.com. After you have made sure that you log in and open up a copy of Chrome, and that will take you to the location you can begin building your websites. I've got several here already. What you need to do, though, is begin by pressing the big plus sign in Google Colors here to create a blank one. Next time you're going through, feel free to try one of the templates that are there. What it's going to do is begin building your website. First of all, please change the name up in the upper left-hand corner. I would suggest something like this. Senior portfolio and I would suggest putting your name next on the first page double click to highlight all of that and change this to personal bio this is a location that's going to hold your personal information and will allow you to send information to potential college and career uh, locations. Now what we're going to do is, over the next few weeks, you're going to be adding several other pages. Let's go ahead and do that by coming over to the Pages link here. And we're going to go down to the bottom where the large plus is, and we're going to click on New Page. Your next page is going to be Personal statement. I'm done with that one. I'm also going to add another one because you're going to create a career introduction video. Please make sure you add that one. You're also going to include a resume. I'm going to add that one. You're going to take a career assessment and you're going to include a copy of that assessment as part of your portfolio spelling does matter and then finally you're going to have life after high school goals. Those could be college, they could be career. Uh, you may be deciding to stay at home with a video game console and making money that way. Not sure. Hey, that's up to you. When you're done, we're done. Later on, we're going to go through, and as we go back, for example, if you decide that you want to insert your personal biography here, you'll find that if you press on the drive button, it will find all those documents that you have previously created as you go through finding each one of those and adding those. You, these are all the documents I have previously created, and I'm going to use some of these to add to my portfolio as I go through and I 